Good morning, let's have a good day today. It's Wednesday, it's cardio day. I like to do lift, lift, cardio, lift, lift, rest, rest. <laughs> and I haven't taken you through a cardio day in a long time, so it's time we do it. Wanna have good meals today, good workout today, good sweat in today, it's gonna be a good day. This feels so nice. I've recently been using my ice roller every day, cause I do go phases with it, but I've been really loving it. It's so good to do in the morning. I've seen someone, instead of ice roll, they wake up, go to their kitchen, take a big bowl of ice water, and just dunk their face in it. I just don't know if I can be that intense. I'm sure it's pretty awesome though. Anyways, you already know the drink lineup. First we do full glass water and supplements. Greens, which I'm like so out of. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get a full scoop. I ordered a new bag the other day. Yeah, I literally am just gonna for the rest. And I got a notification that it shipped this morning. So I'm probably gonna be out of it for a few days, which is okay, I will survive. But it shipped, so we are looking good. And reds. Let's keep this immune system strong. It is winter. Cheers, BFF. When I tell you this Nespresso machine, top five purchase probably of my entire life. Like I am so obsessed with it. Every now and then I'll get questions. Personally, I've had it for just over a year. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. I would never go back. So worth the price. I did get it on sale, which is even better. And it's amazing. Normally I do a little latte, a protein latte if you will in the morning, but I really need to use up these regular coffee pods. So we're doing regular coffee, but don't worry, we're still doing protein coffee. I'm just gonna add a scoop of the caramel latte into this. This is a pumpkin flavor. I Okay, I really need to use them up. But caramel pumpkin can be good, I think. I'm moving and I'm just gonna do a really big pod restock when I move, but so I always do the Ice Legero for ice drinks. I think this is technically a double shot, but it's stronger, so if the ice dilutes the drink, it's not a problem. These are all different flavors of plain coffee. I switch between the Bianco Doppio and the Double Espresso Dolce for my regular hot lattes in the morning. These are also just plain coffee flavors. And then I keep this one on hand, which is just a single shot of espresso for when I want a smaller drink. I think these these are all just very like basic pods. Yes, it is definitely more expensive than regular coffee, of course. I mean, you have to buy the pods, which definitely costs more than just buying coffee grounds. But I do a lot of lattes and stuff like that. So for me, very worth it. And we'll just froth that protein right in. We're good to go. Pretty good. Pretty good. I'm gonna get some work done and stuff this morning though. I'm not doing an early morning workout today. I did a really awesome one yesterday, but cardio, on cardio day, I can't bring myself to like waking up early and like going doing cardio. I understand the appeal to do early morning gym days when it's strength. I started realizing this connection in my brain. I think I could do earlier workouts in the day because I used to be so evening workout girly, right? Lately I've been working out earlier and I've been really liking it, but I think I'd like to get up early and do strength, but then on cardio days, I think is the day where I sleep in a little bit, start my day, whatever, and then I work out a few hours in. I think that's gonna be my new approach. Cause like there's just no way I woke up this morning and was like, let me go sweat on the treadmill. I know some people have to with their schedule. Like if you don't work out before work, you can't work out. But since I have the flexibility, I'm gonna take advantage manage. I am so hungry and I didn't prepare a smoothie bowl last night like I normally do. Tragic, right? However, there's something I wanna try that I've been wanting to try for a while. We're trying it today. You take a piece of bread, you take a cup, you take out the middle of the bread, just like that, perfect. I just buttered this pan. You put the bread in, you crack an egg into the center. Amazing, turn it on, and it, it, it just cooks, and then it's supposed to keep it, oh, it's already leaking, are you kidding? Are you kidding? This is so the egg like stays in the middle, or whatever, but then you toast the this part too. But then it's like, not only is it easier to flip, but your egg is contained, it's like stuck in the middle, and it just, it, it, it's just yummy. Well, I don't know, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm assuming it's an egg and bread, right? Oh, I'm so nervous. Ah! I thought this was gonna be so easy, and it just doesn't look so easy. The egg cracked, yep, the egg cracked. Chet! <laughs> 
I guess not terrible, hey? You can use this part to dip if you want. I mean, it's cool, right? Like, tastes like toast and eggs, you know, what do you expect? I am simply still hungry, but I made these oat bars the other day, and they're perfect for a little breakfast. It's like one o'clock. I have been glued to my computer all morning, but it is time to get moving. It's cardio day, right? Like, we gotta, we gotta get moving. So, first we're gonna walk Duncan. Because I feel bad. I feel like this whole month I have not paid much attention to him at all because just simply because of vlogmas because I've been so busy and so I feel bad for him. I miss him. <laughs> but so he needs to get moving and then we are going to hop on the treadmill. It's cold out so I need to bundle up. However, it's 38 degrees which is actually kind of warm because yesterday it was only 28 when we went for a walk. So I just found sunscreen. Are you ready? Do you want to go for a walk? <gasps> It's the baby. The crazy thing is, I only have a few weeks left of the cold. Let's let's look just for, for shits and gigs. Let's look at the temperature in Texas. It is 54, 16 degrees warmer. Honestly, 54 feels warm though compared to. It's been mostly 30 these days. Although the sun and lack of snow sure makes it seem like it's real warm out. Honestly, this 38 doesn't feel too bad. I've been talking so much about strength training lately and how I really like it and that is true but cardio has its place doing cardio is good for your cardiovascular health you know cardio cardiovascular your heart your lungs all that stuff like it's good to get your heart rate up it's just it's just good to do you don't have to do it every day but it's good to do it I haven't done the 12 to 30 actually in a little while it feels like forever but I don't think it's actually been that long but so this might be kind of tough for me my plan for cardio day is always just to get in a lot of steps like just more than normal but because I have just a lot of editing and stuff to do I'm gonna do the 12 to 30 give it my all sweat it out and then instead of keeping on walking here I'm just gonna move it upstairs use the walking pad and get some work done at my desk I'm so happy I have that set up and that I've been taking such advantage of it lately because it really is such a nice tool to get in your steps get in your movement but first let's get our heart rate up with the um, the incline baby I love the incline walk and it's amazing because obviously since it's vlogmas, I have a ton of videos I can watch and stuff to keep me entertained. So the 12 to 30 hits different in December, I'll tell you that. If you want to try it, try it now while you have a lot of different vlogmas videos to watch. I swear I'm already tired and we're like five seconds in. Why does this feel so hard? I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Halfway done, and I'm so tired. This is so hard, especially when you don't do it regularly. This is why people hate cardio, because it's tiring. But if you're on a schedule and you do it often enough, I don't know, you get used to it, right? I like want to take this off because I'm obviously hot, but at the same time, I kind of want to keep it on and get in that sweat. Is that gross? No, honestly, no. Goodness. After I passed the mile and a half and 30 minute mark, I lowered the speed and incline. I'm just gonna cool down for like five-ish minutes or so, or once I pass 4,000 steps too, because this treadmill has a step count. Who knows how accurate it is. I'm sweaty. I always wear one of these when I do cardio because I sweat so much around my hairline, like my neck and stuff. And I washed my hair yesterday and like, I tried to go a long time without washing my hair. So I sweat so much on these days. But I really, truly feel so good when I finish the 12 to 30 and that is why I got so addicted to it. It's not a bad addiction, but like I truly was addicted to it for a while. I want to bring it back a little. This month has honestly just been crazy and I'm moving soon. So like once all that stuff is over, I'm excited to just set into a really nice routine, a new routine and just find my balance, what I like, what's good for my body. But this is just your sign, don't forget about cardio. You know, everything is good with balance, of course. Balance is always key. I made a little snack plate because I have like nothing good for lunch. So, you know, 
balance. Before I set up my walking pad and get more work done and more steps in, I just got a package and I'm so excited. I pre-ordered this bag and I waited almost a month for it to even ship and it's here. Oh my goodness. A little thing about me. Yes, I'm very passionate about the whole health and wellness side of life, but I am a handbag girly. I love purses so much. There are two brands right now I'm specifically very into. They kind of embody the whole like quiet luxury thing that I actually discovered on Instagram. One is Pauline Paris and the other one I have one bag from and then this is gonna be my second one from them It's called Songmont. Both brands just have like really nice quality handbags, but they're not like crazy logo They're not these like crazy designer brands. So they're not as expensive. We have the beautiful green box, which I love. I love the shade of green. Share your order and get a $20 coupon plus a gift. Oh wow, look at what I'm already doing, sharing my order. Cause it says like tag us and stuff. Although I guess, I don't know, maybe I should do that on Instagram. I would probably post it either way because I'm so excited about this. Cute stuff here, wrapped. Everything in details. It's the most perfect little winter bag. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at this. I love it so much. So the texture is this nice like shirling. Oh my goodness. And it's the perfect color. I feel like it looks a little bit darker on camera than it does in person. And then we have this nice brown outline. This is called the Luna bag. And I have the same exact bag in black actually. And the reason it caught my eye and that I love it so much is because there's technically four ways to wear it. You can use it just as this little cute thing. Or we have this strap. Or... A little shoulder bag moment. Adorable. And lastly, you take the short strap out and you button in the long strap. And now we have a little crossbody. This is the most perfect winter bag I have ever seen in my entire life. My goodness. Oh, I love it. And I'm going somewhere tonight, so I will definitely be using this. I know that wasn't like the most luxurious and neat unboxing, but I just wanted to throw this in this video because I'm very excited and I'm such a handbag girly. I really am. The other two I was talking about, I have this one from Pauline Paris, which is a very nice chic shoulder bag, but I love the color and the quality. And then, like I said, I have the exact same bag, but just in black from Songmont, their Luna bag. <sighs> okay, let's go get some more steps in. walking pad automatically shuts off after an hour but an extra hour of walking an extra 2.8 miles in pretty good I mean some days of course I just want to like sit on the couch and edit and answer emails and whatever but this is a priority especially on cardio day so we do it let's go shower I just got ready I am feeling good today I am ready to eat I'm hungry I'm going out for food tonight tomorrow is the grand opening of a cafe Zupas in the east side of Madison and I got invited to go to a little like dinner tonight they called it their VIP dinner so I'm like oh like that's cool okay so I'm gonna go and then I'll just like share about it and stuff I think I do have some local people on my Instagram and stuff like that so I'll share the details whatever they're having a promo where it's like the first hundred people get this and then there's a raffle for this they have like some cool stuff so I was like yeah let's go so I'm going I did it obviously my makeup and hair I did my hair like you can tell it's not straight anymore I didn't like it down so I put it up but now I don't like it up like I'm just having one of those days where I just like don't feel cute like anything I change I'm like Ugh. like I'm just not having a Whatever, the other day I was on TikTok and this girl was calling it the winter uglies and I'm like, oh my gosh, I am there so hard right now. Like I just feel like I'm in my winter uglies. I need like a tan and like a lot of stuff. And I'm gonna do that tonight actually, but I'm gonna wear my new bag, let me show you. I just have like a cute and cozy outfit on and I love how the Uggs match the brown in this bag perfectly. Cause it's not like a crazy, crazy nice place. It's a cafe. So I'm like, this is perfect. Although I hate when I have pieces down and it gets in my lip gloss. So I'm like, I don't know, maybe I just have my hair all up. Like I just, I'm having a day. And I think part of it is because I put too much oil in my hair. So now it looks greasy instead of refreshed. I'm getting my hair done soon. And so my front pieces will be a little bit shorter and like cutesy right now. They're kind of just getting too long. I'm struggling. I am struggling, but I feel like this is just the epitome of like getting ready as a girl. Like this, what is going on? This, seriously, I... <laughs> So I've never been to one of these before. It's like a cafe, right? Like 
cafe is the same, but it's way more fresh and so good. So like think Panera, but like on steroids, you know? Like we got all the fixings, we got the salad, the soup, the sandwiches, which are destroyed clearly, but oh my gosh, also their lemonades, no sugar. Just nature's sugar in the fruit. So if you're in Madison, you should come here, but I don't know how many people that watch my videos are actually in Madison. There's 74 locations. There's 74 locations. So if you're in one of those seven. I'm going to a store near you. <laughs> so if you're in one of the 74 locations, go there. But seriously, the food's so good. Okay. I ended up changing my outfit. I put leather pants on. But it was fun. The food was so good. It's all like super fresh and stuff. We got a little tour. Like she was telling us all about the brand. It's not a franchise. But there's 74 stores. I was hoping there would be one in Texas or some in Texas, but there are not. Unfortunately, but I'm assuming someday they'll branch out. I have this. It's like an orange something lemonade and I put pumps of vanilla in it. Like, you know how in, I only know this because I've seen it on TikTok, but in like Utah and places like that, they have soda shops. I've n literally never heard of that until I saw it on TikTok because like I, that just doesn't exist in my world. And it's like that. Like they have a bunch of drinks and like lemonades and stuff, but they have pumps and you can get crazy little combinations and you get... Chocolate covered strawberries with everything. You get like little rolls and stuff. It was, it was good. But I'm like so tired. Tell me why one little event, one little, little time of being social and I'm like wiped. I mean, I'm also just tired because December is tiring, but um, I'm gonna go put on sweatpants. I feel like that would be a place that I would like to eat a lot though because they have very fresh ingredients and like you know where everything's coming from. It's like a very like healthy place. You know, like it's like Panera, but like better. Like I feel like I would feel good eating it, you know? I don't know. One of my points of this video being don't neglect cardio day. I know I've been talking so much about strength lately and it's amazing and I love it so far and it's great and you should absolutely do it. But also, I'm never trying to bash on cardio. Cardio is what created me. 12, 3, 30. I will always love it. And don't skip cardio day. Don't neglect cardio day. You should do it. Don't skip it. You should do it. It's good for you. That being said, I'm gonna take a shower, put a little tan on because of my winter ugly situation, and go to bed. I have an exciting appointment tomorrow, so stay tuned for that video. Yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you have not, and I'll see you in my next one.